All right, and we're streaming live now. Um, to recap where we have been, you have journeyed, you're journeying, journeyed along the Sword Coast to a village called Fandelver, uh, where you had been asked by a dwarf by the name of Gundren Rockseeker to cart some supplies. Uh, you found out in the course of your journey that Rockseeker believed he had discovered a, uh, a secret mine that's known as Wave Echo Cave. It's been long, long lost, uh, but it's purported to have magical powers as well as uh, all kinds of riches. And he and his brothers are kind of on an expedition to try to recover it. But Gundren's gone missing, and the pieces that you've been able to put together so far indicate that uh, he has been kidnapped by someone called the Black Spider, that he has been taken to a location that is called Cragmaw Castle, but you have no idea yet who the Black Spider is or where Cragmaw Castle is. Uh, you have, however, managed to liberate the village of Fandolin from a, a band of ne'er-do-wells called the Red Brand Ruffians who had in part been harassing the village in an effort to assist the Black Spider and uh, scaring adventurers and so forth away from the area while he tries to locate Wave Echo Cave. So you now find yourselves back into uh, back in uh, Fandolin and uh, You've, you've had a good night's rest. Uh, consider yourselves to have had a long rest now. And uh, you're ready to start another day after uh, relaxing for the evening at, uh, at the local inn. So what, uh, what do you want to do next? Um, let's see. We had a few... Uh, yeah other quests that we we had accumulated do you want to try okay. to tackle some of those guys sounds good yeah i kind of wanted um, to do the um the elf person who like we bring the book to the sage and then the sage gives us a lot of money or no we get two potions of healing if we do it yeah i think we already got those though right they pin in advance you got those in advance you already oh. have them oh yeah we do you haven't fulfilled so your guess... end of the bargain yet, but she's fulfilled her end. Right. Okay. Um, well, Brom's no punk, so we got to take care of that. <laughs> the other one was um, there were orcs kind of nearby. Yes, there's an area called Wyvern Tor, and there's a report mm -hmm. of some orcs that uh, seem to be encamped in that area. And uh, one of the one of the gentlemen in town named Harbin Wester has asked if you could try to get rid of them. Well, I'm good with either, but I do have a feeling if we go uh, fulfill our end of the bargain with Agatha, we might get something else out of it, even if it's just information. That's a good point. That's true, yeah. Because, like, we only, we got our reward from the elf that gave us potions, but we don't know what yeah. the person will give us. Right. Okay, sure. Um, All right, so um, what you've been told is that, um, that Agatha lives to the north of to the north of Fandolin. So if we're looking at a map of the Sword Coast here, you can see yourselves at, at this location. And you would need to journey probably up to somewhere about right here to get to, to, get to her particular location. This is where you're at least told where Agatha has been known to, to uh, be seen. Uh, Wyvern Tor, you've been told, is about right here. That's the location where the orcs are. Oh, so we can. That uh, works out, so we can go after the orcs after. Sounds yeah. good. Mm -hmm. How how long it will it take us to get to uh, Connie Berry? Is that what that town is? You're you're probably talking about a day's journey, 
uh, and then an overnight, and then another day's journey. Okay. I'm up for it. Are you guys up for it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to put a long rest. We're good. Okay. Anything you want to do before you leave town? Um, I stole a bunch of weapons that I would like to either sell or just leave behind. Okay. Um, the, uh, the innkeeper will agree to let you, uh, let you keep them there until you come back through Fandolin. Okay. If you want to just leave them at the inn, they'll, she'll like put them behind the counter for you. Kind of like they keep your luggage at a hotel, you know, or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, and if they need to use the swords, that's fine, too. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right. So you're going to depart Fandolin then and begin a journey uh, out of Fandolin and uh, along this path, hoping to get somewhere around here by the end of the day. Uh, can you give me a feel for what your marching order is like? I'll go first. Mm, I'll follow. All right, I'll bring up the back. I'll be in the middle then. All right. That's a good sign. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to do that secretly, but I couldn't remember the the code for, for rolling <laughs> secretly. So you know. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so you're heading down the road. It's about the middle of the day. And uh, let's see if we can get you situated here. Yeah, you're heading down the road. It's about the middle of the day, and uh, let's make a perception check. I'm sorry, perception. Uh, I think that's all right. Yeah, make a perception check. Well, I rolled a one. There we go. Someone did well. Yeah. Uh, all right. So as you're as you're uh, walking down, it's about midday. You're thinking about actually stopping and maybe having a snack pretty soon, but you're still on the move. And uh, Brulem uh, detects out of the corner of his eye, uh, just to the side of the road. There's kind of some brush, and he kind of detects out of the corner of his eye some motion in the brush there. Uh. Broom is going to just sort of quickly like pull his pole arm up and kind of point it towards the brush and yell for whoever's there to come out where I can see him. All right. What, what is everybody else doing? Um, I want to like position myself between the thing in the brush and the rest of the party. I really want to catch an arrow, so... <laughs> <laughs> I will position myself behind Sheik. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, stand a little bit behind Brulem. All right. Uh, so everything's really quiet. Uh, you get a sense that there's something watching you from out, kind of out of the shadows in the woods. And uh, then all of a sudden... Out of the woods, uh, jump three hobgoblins, and they start running straight at you, <laughs> and uh, and screaming. Uh, frig. Um, what time of day is it? Midday. How big are the goblins? Uh, they're pretty tall. I mean, big, bigger than humans. I mean, those those are big honking creatures. And let's go ahead and roll for initiative. Are they bigger than me? They're about your size. Okay. Uh, 
Oh crap, I didn't pick him guy. Wait, where are our tokens? Yeah, I, let me put you all out there. Wait, where is intimidation? No, in, in, initiative. Initiative. In, initiative, okay. yeah. Uh, in the middle of your, the top middle of your sheet. There we go. There you go, but... Sorry, I kept, I kept reading Intimidation and thinking it was initiative. Sinasha's healed, by the way. Oh. Yeah, everybody's great. had a full rest. Come on. <laughs> Me first. Oh. Wow. Well done. All right. Let's get Sanasha up top then. All right. So Sanasha gets the turn first. All right. Okay. Um. Dang it. I have to remember what my spells do. You have the icy grip one that strikes <laughs> death that I that I always use. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I yeah. I will go ahead and start out with that one uh, with the goblin straight in front of me in the okay. center. Whichever one's closest to you. Yeah. We'll we'll close. We'll kind of roughly align them with the three of you as they're running out of the woods. Okay. All right. So you're whichever one is closest to you, which is going to be this one. All right. And uh, you don't have any advantage here, so you're going to be rolling a 12, which does not hit. All right. Okay. Um, You've still got a chance to move. Yeah. I'm just trying to decide. Um, I'm going to move just a little. Just a little bit back behind Brulum. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then that's me. So this hobgoblin is going to run up to Brulin, and he's going to draw his longsword, and he's going to just swing away at him. And he gets a 16. That'll hit. May you see a 16. All right. Eight damage. Slashing. Okay. Dang it. All right. And uh, this one is going to uh, like kind of cross around over to about right here. And he's going to draw out a longbow and he's going to fire over at Sinasha. He rolls a nine. What's your AC? Um, Eleven. All right. So he does not hit. So that doesn't hit. And then this one is going to run right up at she and swing with his long sword for oh that 20 not a nat it's not a natural <laughs> 20 oh okay <laughs> but it's it's for a 20 though for 9 slashing Man, that is brutal <laughs> 220s wow and that brings us to brulem's turn um me i think Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I yeah, got you all out of order. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'll start with my spear. Sorry. To the one in front of me. Okay. And I will miss. I'll use yeah. a key point. To okay. Do first on arm strike, 16. 16 does not hit. It does it? Okay. That's a bad sign. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> 17 does not hit. Okay. Um, really? 
I will use an extra key point to step of the wind. Okay. Um, so, let's see, uh, uh, which lets me disengage, and then I will use my full movement to run. Um, back to town. <laughs> if 17 doesn't hit, we're kind of going to die. So... Uh. Um, I will use my movement to run away <laughs> immediately. I can drop a fog cloud to kind of give us a way to escape if that's what we want to do. Is that what we want to do? Like when it comes to my turn? Might be a good uh, idea. Yeah, that couldn't hurt. Because it's like if they're all this strong, just. Well, they're wearing chain mail, they're pretty stout. Maybe if I just... Are they wearing anything on their head? Also, how smart are they? Because <laughs> if they're dumb enough, then I can do animal friendship. Yeah, I, you're not going to be able to do animal friendship on them. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> no. That For one thing, they're not an animal. Uh, no, so, racist. All right, boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's offensive to hobgoblins. <laughs> The question is, can you get away with away from them without provoking an attack of opportunity? Yes, because yeah. disengaged me do that. Oh, you disengaged. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there, but I'm back. You and Becca both dropped. I think it's y'all's Wi-Fi. Really? Wait, we yeah. both dropped? I, I didn't get any, like, thing oh. for it. Like, it just seemed like I was still... Here. That's okay. Yeah, you're right. It's probably our Wi Fi. It's weird. Okay, it's uh, uh, Brulem's up now. Okie dokie. And so, <laughs> so I just see Chi just run away. Yep. <laughs> just take off yep. into the woods. Perfect. You saw me um, miss three times first, though. Okay. Yeah, so you're just like fighting these guys and, and it's like bouncing off their armor. Um, that's not a thing that I like. Let's see. <laughs> so. Give me a second. I mean, go ahead. I'm just going to be working on something while you're doing that. Okay. Um, okay, so if so, let's say that I use my breath weapon, which is a 5 foot by 30 foot line in front of me. How many of these guys could I hit? Could I hit like two of them? If I like reposition myself? Yeah, you could hit two from where you're standing. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do that. That'll be the very first thing I do. Okay. And that is going to... I don't they just make, think... Save, they just make saving rolls? Yeah, they do a save of versus dex. Or sa saving throw, dexterity saving throw. Okay. Um, versus my constitution DC. Let me look that up real quick. Okay. Dragon, dragon. Yeah, DC is eight plus my constitution modifier plus my proficiency bonus. So uh, 12. 
They have to beat a okay. deck saving throw with a DC of 12. All right. And how much damage does it do? Uh, it is going to do... I think I can just roll for it by doing this. There you go. Okay. 10 acid damage. All right, and so... they succeed, they take half damage. All right. So one of them is just, I mean, just covered. And, and is just kind of screaming and tossing around. Uh, the other one... Uh, is also pretty seriously affected, but not quite as much. Okay. But you can tell it definitely. You definitely got their attention. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of them is just uh, just kind of blinded and kind of staggering around right now from the attack. And the one okay. directly in front of you is. Okay. Um... And then I'm going to use my action surge okay. to take a... Does it have to be an attack action? No, it does not. I'm going to use my action surge, and I'm going to cast a spell. Okay. And I'm going to cast Magic Missile. You have magic missile. All right. I totally have that. It's a thing. <laughs> All right. So uh, the first and, uh, one, so you get to hit three times, right? Yeah, and I can split it up between different targets. And so I would like to do. I would like to do uh, two magic missiles at the guy that took full damage from my breath attack, and then one magic missile at the other guy. Okay. So the first two hit, uh, how much damage are they going to do? Uh, They're going to do 1d4 plus 1. So let me roll 1d4. 3 damage. All right. So the one that's standing right in front of you, he just takes two of them in the face. And uh, it's like he's on fire like two different ways now. And yes. uh, he just kind of spins and uh, falls backwards and hits the dirt, and he's he's toast. Yes, yes. Okay. And um, uh, the second one takes uh, you said a total of three, right? Yes. yes. And now he's looking more and more like he's in the same condition as that first one was, just totally staggered and uh, trying to shake loose of the effects of the darts and all this other fiery stuff that this dragon thing has <laughs> suddenly started throwing at him. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to yell out, we can do this! And stand <laughs> my ground. All There's right. There's a guy to hear you, so he'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that far away. I'm only 40 feet away. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Xanafi's next. Okay, um... I am actually, one second, I gotta read. Um, I think you get two attacks with your bow now, but I, I can't remember for sure. Um, let's see. I think I am. I just need to say how far I can cast. One. Um, I want to do a snaring strike on one of them. Okay, which one? Um, the one that's... Could I move to be close enough to the one that's not really hurt? Uh, yeah, you've, you've got line of sight directly to the one that's not really hurt right now. Okay, yeah, I'll do that then. Okay, so you're gonna shoot. So, you're gonna shoot an ensnaring strike at him. Yes. Okay. So what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna use one of your spell slots for this, and then you need to do an attack. It's like that's not an attack itself, but it's something you can use in connection with an attack. So, 
So like I can just like shoot him with my bow. Yes. Okay, that's all. Where did it go? Nope, that's not my weapons. This is my weapons. Okay. Whoa! All right, so uh, so you you just kind of draw your bow and let loose of it, and it just kind of finds some a, ch a chink in his armor, right at his arm, and it just shoots right into it. And uh, he spins around, he's kind of screaming in agony. And then suddenly, all of these vines start growing, like expanding out of the bow and reaching down into the ground. And uh, he's trying to pull and, to, and trying to get himself away from them. And uh, you need to go ahead and roll for your damage on that longbow. I don't know why it didn't put your damage up with it. Oh, sorry. you're saying. Okay. Yeah, so this one isn't in very good shape either now. Um, that look on your sheet and make sure you only get one attack. For some reason, I'm thinking you get two per turn, but I might be wrong about that. Not at third level. Um, let me try to find it. I don't think you do at third level. It, it may not be. I think it's fifth level. I don't, it is I don't think level. I do. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, so you make sure you mark off your spell slot, uh, and uh, he's now... Uh, he's now just kind of struggling to try to get loose, and we get to Sinatra's turn. Okay. I don't think I've ever done a spell before. I think. That was the first time, I think. Yeah. Uh, the thing says that he gets a strength saving throw? He will yeah, get a, he, he will um, at the start of his turn, right? Yeah. No, that's a separate one. The strength... Oh, the, you're right. The one on the oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a separate one to save himself entirely. Is he a larger or a large creature? Strength Probably saving large. throw or be restrained by magic. Yeah. He fails it. Oh. Dramatically. Yeah. All right, okay, so uh, Sinatra's turn now. All right, okay, I'm going to... Sorry, I'm looking at my range on something. Yeah, my range is actually this. Oh, okay, thirty feet. That's yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna move out a little bit, and I'm gonna attack the uh, orc or goblin <laughs> to my uh, right, I guess, on the left side of the map. Uh, yes, okay. And I'm going to use this I'm going right to use here. witch bolt. Okay. Yes. Um bringing out the big guns. That won't. That won't be a hit though. Will it? Uh 16 does not hit. Yeah, okay. You want to um, Get up really close to him so I can get flanking. <laughs> sure, yeah. I, if I still have movement, I do. Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit closer. All right. So and... All right, so your atta attack just kind of zips right beside him, uh, right past him, and so there's not a lot he can do. So now at the start of this next turn... Um, this goblin over here, the the vines are kind of continuing to grow on him, and he's going to take some damage. Oh wow! And so the vines just start kind of that are restraining him, start kind of growing around his neck and choking him, and uh, you could just kind of see him kind of the life kind of just slowly leaks out, leeches out of him, and he just kind of falls over flat on his face. What? I feel bad now. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I think you just technically he one shot a hobgoblin. He, he, it's a basically a one shot of a hobgoblin. I really want to that. Yeah. And uh, all right, so this one, 
uh, c- kind of recovers enough, pulls his, his uh, long sword back up, and slashes across at Sinasha with it. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, that is a hit. 11. That's a hit. Okay. Uh, so he's going to do 8 damage to Sinasha. And before you blame me, he was probably going to do that either way. <laughs> that's true. I, I wasn't going to blame you. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, and uh, that gets us to she's turn. Let's try this again. I hope. Spear. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so now she just kind of comes out of the woods and sticks this spear like right in the small of this this thing's back where it can get through the armor, and it just pierces all the way through him, and he just falls forward <laughs> into the dirt. Yeah. Nice. So you're oh, all kind of s- standing alive. around, and it's quiet now. There's nobody. The, there's there's none of them left now. You managed to Look take them pockets. all down. And then steal their pockets. Yeah, let's search them. All right. You said they were wearing chain mail. How does the chain mail look? Is it like good quality or is it all tore up? It's it's I mean, pretty torn up and it doesn't really look like it's going to fit any of you. Uh, you could get, you know, maybe pr- probably five, ten gold if you wanted to try to strip them and carry it around with you f- for the rest of your trip. That's pretty so good. Heavy, we still have that wagon? I forgot to ask that beforehand. No, well, you, didn't ha- wagon, and right? you didn't have any horses either, so. Oh, okay. I feel like it'll just be a hassle to carry around the chain mail. I'll take yeah. one. I'm not gonna. I'm not planning on using it, but I think that it might be useful later as some kind of distraction or like sure. as some kind of shield if like people are firing arrows or something. All right. And uh, your journey for the rest of the day is pretty non-eventful. Uh, it's you get to about this point on the trail. Um, and and um, it gets to be a it gets to be dark. Sorry, were there swords? Anything special or just normal swords? They were just long swords. Nothing special. Okay. Uh, you can me... you can take them with you if you want to, though. I'll say I took one because I'm not sure if the stats are better. Okay. So do we want to stop and, like, camp for the night and then just keep going in the morning? Yeah, because if that same attack happens but at night, I think we all die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, I need to get my breath weapon and my action surge and all that stuff back. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, do we want to say, like, one person keeps watch for a couple of hours and then another person switches what? off after yeah. a certain amount of time? Look at your um, abilities. Okay, Look at your abilities, uh... Xanafi. Okay, I, get, I know I only need four hours of meditation, not even sleep. So You can actually keep watch and meditate at the same time. Yeah. So you also, can actually... I have the alarm spell. First level spell. I can cast alarm on the camp, and if anybody like comes inside, it'll wake us up. So it's like a radius of like... This... That's it right there. It's like a 20 foot cube. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Okay. I actually do have a campsite for you. Oh, cool. Oh, it's so quaint. <laughs> With the Illuminati in the bottom right. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's like the artist's like symbol, I guess. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> I'm not quite not, not quite sure about that one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. You guys want to sing songs around the campfire? No, but I'll cook. I have a cooking proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty good. Do we have food? Do we have? Um, well, the bark on the trees. 
tastes really good, I guess. Or like oh, that's <laughs> some roasted um, bark. <laughs> yeah, mm, that, that roasted bark. Mm, that sounds fantastic. Martha Stewart recommended it. I can't wait. I'm salivating. Should have taken some goblin meat. Yeah. I feel like that would be really gamey. And weird. <laughs> All right. Um, so, who all is going to be sleeping through the night? Um, let's see. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just tried to pet my cat. <laughs> she like jumped up. <laughs> um, she what? I will. I was trying, like, Harley is sitting in the chair next to me, and I, like, touched her head, and she just, like, jumped up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Spooked her. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I will sleep. I'll volunteer for that task. I'll also sleep. That sounds like something I can do. Yep. <laughs> I, I will cast the alarm spell on the area that we're sleeping in, and then I will sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't and I'm, I'm going to have it produce an audible alarm. Okay. Um, it, so it's the, the night is just, it, you're just kind of settling down after your meal. Uh, everybody's just about to doze off. And uh, what and, and Brulem hears the sound of his alarm going off. And Samafi, go ahead and make a perception check. All right. <sighs> Where is perception? Is it? I don't remember where anything is. The skill list on the oh, left. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh wait, I need to pick my token. You need to what? I need. No, you. Oh, I didn't. No, you're good. I thought I. Okay. Sorry. All right. Before before this, did anybody do any healing, anything like that? Um, would the journey on the road count as a short rest because it's not like intense activity? I don't think I don't think as long as you're moving, it would count as a short rest. Now, I I would say that by the time you stopped and camped and had your food and everything, you had the yeah. equivalent of a short rest. You can go ahead and take the equivalent of a short rest here. Okay. And, and, and heal any that you want to before we start the encounter. What do you roll? Uh, uh, your, what, what it shows your hit die as. Okay. Okay. That'll work for me. So you can just see in the darkness, kind of on the edge of the campsite, about right here, uh, you can see some eyes peering out at you. And um, it's, they're, they're, you, you would think they looked avian, except that they're just huge, like this big in comparison to my head. And oh, yeah. uh, they're kind of blinking, and you can kind of hear this low growling coming from <laughs> growling them. from avian eyes. Okay. Yeah. Eyeballs as big as a human head, and it growls. Not, and the eyeballs not look quite, like not quite as big as a human head, but that's. I'm trying to give you a sense of the far, how far apart they are. Okay. Yeah, you're taking me there. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Um. I I'm gonna cast light uh, oh, on my glaive and kind of use it as as a uh, like a beacon or a, or a torch and kind of like try to stick it out in front of me towards this thing in the shadows. Okay, and um, and when it sees the light, it kind of j jumps down and then kind of it's everything's still for just a minute and then it sort of crawls out of the 
the brush just a little bit. No, no. That's kind of what I thought. No. And, uh, <laughs> and, it, and looks at you, and is it growling? Is it Hooting? singing? You can't tell, uh, but you can tell it's looking at you pretty fiercely right now. Uh, what is it? <laughs> it's I have an owlbear. Animal handling. Anyone beat that? <laughs> so how smart is it? So, maybe so, so I know what it is, but would my character know what it is? Do I need to do a nature check or something? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be a difficult one, but you need to do a nature check. Okay. I feel like it's hard not to know what that is. Yeah. So that's that's enough to know what it is. Okay. Yeah. Um. Explain, because my character would not know this. I, Braum just stops like dead still, turns over his shoulder and says, run, and then turns and bolts. <laughs> <laughs> this is just how we're going to start every fight. So <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and then comes back when we're winning and takes yeah. credit. <laughs> I didn't take that much credit. I took an appropriate amount of credit. <laughs> he took an appropriate amount of long swords, okay? He took one long sword. Yeah. Okay. One, one kill. <laughs> it's an owl bear. They're very bad. Bad like morally or bad like ability to murder us, see. The latter. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that they have any morals. Right, seem... so it's just an animal that's yeah terrifying. Yeah. I won't run. I'll 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 just start backing up. <laughs> okay. All right, and it's it kind of senses the fear, and uh, it's it's it it just kind of continues to pace towards you as as you back <laughs> up. Uh, Xanafi? <laughs> yep, I'll use animal friendship on it. How smart is it? <laughs> let me see. Hard. Let me see animal friendship. Okay. What that looks like? Can you? <sighs> it's a beast. It's a beast. Four or higher. Well, it's saying that we meant no harm, and it's like we clearly didn't mean any harm. We're just sleeping. It wants to I was going to give it food. <laughs> well, bark. <laughs> you give a raccoon cat food, and it'll come back for the whole cat. <laughs> we either got a couple what is your What is your... Di can you see what your spell save is, Zamafi? Uh, yes. But also, what... Uh, it's 12. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. I've never cast spells until tonight, so I don't know what to do. All right, so you're going to use the second spell slot here, and you're going to try animal friendship on it. Okay. All right. Oh, oh no. And it just kind of shakes it off and uh, turns and uh, looks back at Brulem, who's been backing up from it. Oh, boy. Um, would a and short rest have given me any of my spell slots back? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Dang it. And we're going to roll initiative. I rolled above 10. First um, time in like a month and a half. Congratulations. <laughs> it's a big moment for you. It is. <laughs> I don't understand why my, I, I used to, it always seemed like used to the turn orders would like sort for me. Yeah, I thought it did. Even even in Star Wars, it would do that for me, and uh, it doesn't do it now for some reason. Oh, Whoa. natural twenty. Too bad that wasn't on an attack. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we always get the good rolls on like useless stuff. Okay, Zamafi's first. Yay! Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to... I don't want to use another one of my spells. You're, you're going to get them all back after you rest overnight. Just keep that in mind. But Wait, how long were we resting? Because I get fully rested after four hours. 
You, you, I don't think you've been there four hours, but you've been there enough for what's called a short rest. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to shoot my longbow at it. Its eyes are glowing, right? So, sure, like, why I not? Can, I can see the eyes clearly. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> you have dark vision, don't you? So. Oh my gosh! That nice. wasn't really enough. That wasn't enough for the hobgoblin. So wait until he says it hits. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll for damage. There we go. Yes. All right. <laughs> Everyone breathes a sigh of relief. We can hit it. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, so the the arrow uh, hits it in its body and sticks in there. Oh, good. You you got some movement still. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm just going to back up over here towards Brulem. Okay. Why does everybody want to hide behind me? <laughs> <laughs> you're, the you're the biggest and most intimidating in the group. Sure. But it's an owlbear. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> just like... Have a growling contest, and then maybe it'll go away. Isn't isn't that how things are settled in, in the wild? <laughs> I'd like to have a a breath weapon contest with it, but I don't have a breath weapon anymore. I <laughs> know. Oh, and it's um, your turn, Brulem. Okay. Um, yeah, that's an action. Don't want to use that. Okay, I'm just gonna go up and stab it with my. Uh, glowing glaive of glowiness. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, so that misses. Dang it. Oh, do you even have action, action surge? Or is that yeah. long rest too? That's long rest too, yeah. Uh, this yeah. might be rough. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I'm going to move Brulem up to here then. Uh, oh, wait, it, no, it's short rest. I do oh. have an action surge. Okay. Um, nice. But I'm not going to use it on this yeah. turn. All right. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that we had everything. So we can... It seems more viable now. All right, she's up. Bit. Is this Viking, if I move here? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Um, let's hit it. Oh, and the longsword was... A slight improvement. So let's try this first two handed. That's a hit. Nice. <laughs> Kapow. Kapow, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, with advantage, the second one doesn't hit even with advantage. No, 10 damage. Oh, it's 10 damage. So what does the four signify on that? The four is when I don't use it, when I only use it one handed. Oh, so it's two handed. Uh, so you're doing 10 damage to it. All right. Um, and then I'll spend a key point. And okay, hey, for another four, another and four. Um, I can make it prone uh, if it fails a dexterity save against my thing, which is thirteen. Okay, so it's prone. It fails a dexterity save, so this thing you hit it twice and it just kind of falls flat on the ground. And then I have one more. Okay. Whoa, that's a hit. Or another four. And now I can make it... <laughs> can't take reactions. Wow. Monks, man. Yeah. I'm going to leave it all... on the battlefield here. <laughs> it's just trying to make up for leaving us earlier. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's called what? Huh? What's, huh? what's your ability called? You just said you had oh. an ability you were going to use. Oh, I don't know the actual name of it. It was like the thing that makes him okay. do the dexterity roll and takes away his reaction is the ability. Okay, so you're you're done now then. Yes, that is everything I can do. Okay. So the owlbear is going to kind of struggle up on its feet and uh, it's going to turn toward she and uh it's going to kind of bite and, and poke at him with his beak it misses 
and misses. And uh, then it turns around and slashes at it with its claws, uh, slashes at Brulem. Oh. And that is a brutal hit right there. That hits Ouch. in a big way. Actually, no, because I am going to cast... Um, oh, crap, I can't. But never mind. Never you don't mind. have the slot, do you? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to take that one on the chin. <laughs> yeah, literally took that one on the chin. <laughs> Albert Gosh. Paul right across the chin. And yeah. now we're to Sinasha. Okay. Um, well, I'm standing behind a tree, so I'm going to move out a little bit. Um, okay. Do, is it going to be worth it, everyone else, to keep trying to kill it, or should I use my sleeping spell on it? I think we're in a pretty decent place. I, mean, I, I think so too, but I, think I just. We're all right, yeah. Okay. Um, well, then I'm actually just going to use Chill Touch on it. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah, so that's a hit. Awesome. Yeah, so the Chill Touch just kind of hits the side of its face and uh, it kind of recoils at uh, at this sense of cold, this hand that's kind of stuck attaching all this cold to its face. And anything else you want to do? You probably have a little movement left if you want to use it. Um. I'm going to pour it a little bit. Okay. Alright. That's all for me. Alright. Zamafi. Awesome. Uh, I am going to <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it with my longbow again. Okay. See how that does. That is a Seven. hit. Alright. And uh, a second arrow sticks into it for four more damage. But it's it's still going pretty strong. I mean, it's you've made some progress on it, but it's not. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's getting close to going down or running away quite yet. Anything? Oh, go ahead. Anything else from Xanafi? Um. I don't know. Does anybody else want to just like run away right now? Because I can drop a fog cloud to like confuse it enough so we can get away. Um, I wouldn't say just yet because I still have my second wind, so I can get back most of the hit points I lost. Okay. Everybody else okay with that? Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, then I am going to move forward a little bit and end of turn. All right, Brulem. Um, okay. If you want to like move away during this turn, he doesn't have a reaction, so he can't hit you. Oh, I'm that's just true. The option out there. Okay, that's a good idea. Um. All right, I am going to use my action surge on this turn, and okay. for my first action, I am going to cast uh, my cantrip, which is True Strike. And that's going to give me advantage on my next attack. And okay. then I'm going to attack with my shiny, glowy glaive again. Wait, um, you had advantage because we're flanking. Oh. Yeah, you don't have to use that. Oh, okay. I like it. All right. And Yeah, go ahead and roll again. That's better. That's much that's better. better. That's it. The second's nice. it. Cool. Yeah, so you just cut right across uh, its forehead okay. for another eight points. And uh, now you've got a sense that it's kind of on the ropes, trying to decide whether it wants to stay in or not. Okay. Um, then I will use my action surge and just do another attack. Okay. This is also with advantage. Okay. That's a hit. Uh, 
Yeah, nine more points. All right, so it's, you kind of hit hit it one way, and then you're slashing back the other way, and it you just pop it again. Nice. Catch it in the head again. Um. Do you want me to pull away? It's up to you. Mm, I'm going to stay in so that you can get your flanking bonus. Okay. All right. That's my turn. Now it's She's turn. I'll move over here. Okay. So he has no escape. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so mean. What if Gotta get that. Needs? What if this is like a brother bear situation? And he shouldn't have attacked us. <laughs> we tried to reason with it. Yeah. <laughs> Try to convince it you were friendly. It wouldn't pay any attention. Um, this would be the five because I would have still done two hands. Okay. And then I'll spend another point. Um, and I'll have him make another dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you you whack it across the head with your fist. And then uh, coming around with your foot after that on a, a ra like a roundhouse or something, uh, you just hit it in the back of the head and it plops over dead right in front of what? you. Man, we're way stronger at level three than we were at level two. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It's stunning. At least two of us would have been incapacitated if this had happened. Yeah. Yeah. We would have been owlbear food. <laughs> oh. There we go. Now we got a Samil. <laughs> Al Albert stew for the evening, huh? Nice. Roasted Albert, something like that. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Tastes like turkey and deer. <laughs> Does he have feathers or fur? Yes. <laughs> feathers Can and fur. Get it and sell it. No, I, there's not really a lot going to be a lot of value to that. Um, uh, I so he has claws and stuff. Yes. I kind of want to take that as like a secondary weapon. Is that okay? How are you going to make claws into a weapon? <laughs> They already are weapons. <laughs> well, they are, but they're attached to him. How are you going to attach the claws to your body? I'm not going to attach them to my body. I'm just going to keep them in my pocket. <laughs> it was like daggers or something. You can right, carry so like, like the actual talons, right? Not the yeah. not the whole paw or whatever. You can cut off can... his paw, put yeah, it on a like... spear. Yeah. You can you can carry the talons around with you if you want to, uh, but. That they're really they're not going to be a very useful. You can try to use them as a weapon, but I'm warning you right now, it's not going to be a very useful weapon. Okay. Is the beak worth anything on the black market? No. It's not like ivory or anything like not that. Not like a rhino. Yeah, no. Uh, or this world's equivalent to ivory is. Doesn't does an owl bear head seem like the sort of thing you would maybe like to have over a fireplace mounted? Stuffed. I would like that above my fireplace. That would be great. <laughs> it would look pretty impressive. Do you, but do you really want to carry around a rotting owlbear head for the next two or three days? Uh, um, does anybody have any skills in taxidermy? It's <laughs> right now. Unfortunately, did not take the taxidermy tools proficiency, no. I wonder what you would even roll for that. Like a super high <laughs> medicine check and a super high nature check? Yes. I mean, not really medicine, though, because it's like. I think for taxidermy, yeah. Killing. That's probably as close as you could get for that roll, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's not like, it's not about killing it or keeping it alive. It's more like preserving the state of. Yeah. The, yeah. 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 All right, so you managed to get a full night's rest after that without uh, any further interruptions. So you get a, a full rest, you get back all your hit die, you get back all your hit points. Yay. You get back all your spell slots and any abilities that you get back after a long rest. Awesome. Good deal. Cool. So here we are. The party is uh, about right here, and uh, it's daylight now.
let's continue on before more <laughs> before like hobgoblins mounted on Albert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Onward to glory. All right. So where are you headed? Uh, I uh, think Connie Berry first, right? Yeah, to the north east. Sure. Keep following the trail. Okay. So it turns out Connie Berry is just a collection of ruins now. There's not really anybody there. There's nothing to be seen when you get there. Uh, the town's like long since been abandoned, and you've just got a lot of uh, empty, crumbling houses and uh, overgrowth all around, all around it. Not a whole lot to see. Okay, um, maybe a good place to rest for the night, like after work, if we go to I get to this place. But continue on. Yeah, let's make our way back up, or up, too. All right. So you start working your way kind of up through the uh, the forested area. And you reach what looks like about the region where you were told by uh, the elf back in Fandolin that Agatha's lair would be located. And you can see kind of within it, there, there's kind of this dome of branches that kind of shelter what looks like kind of a home of sorts. It's There's a few chests, there's a few shelves, uh, there's a table, there's a reclined cloth. All of it looks like it's just this very old elven stuff. I'll go in first. Very strange looking in the middle of a forest to see something like that. Xanafi's going in first. Yeah, I'm an elf. This person's an elf. We'll just we'll we'll get along better. There's less of a chance that she'll attack us if I go in first, I guess. Okay. Seems logical. So yeah. Xanafi kind of ducks down and goes through the door and walks in, and uh, the air starts growing really cold. Is anybody else going in with her, or behind her? Um. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna back her up. Uh, okay. Did she? I mean, I guess if you're going, then we should just all go, right? Yeah. All right. So everybody's in. Goes in, standing behind Zamafi, and this cold, pale light begins to flicker, and then it eventually grows into this form of a female elf in robes. And uh, even though there's no wind in there, her hair is kind of waving as if there's wind behind her. Her robes are kind of flapping. It's 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 a ghost, or what at least appears to be a ghost. Um, she might have even been beautiful at one time, but now she just kind of has this hateful, twisted kind of expression, and uh, she's she seems angry. And uh, she says to you, "Foolish mortals, what do you want here? Do you not know that it's death to seek me out? We bring you a gift." Yeah, we bring you something that was stolen from you, a spellbook. No, she knows what the spellbook is. Um, we have a, a silver, silver brush for her. Yeah, and mm. uh, who who uh, a silver brush? And what she says? All right. And what is it that you seek in exchange for this brush? Bow gentle spellbook. The location of Bow Gentle's spellbook. The location of Bell's spell Gentle's Bow Gentle's spellbook. Uh, she says, "All right, very well. Uh, if you leave the mirror, if you'll leave the gift here, I will tell you where it can be found." Okay. Good deal. Uh, in my in my life, she says, "I traded this book to a necromancer. His name is Sernoth. T S E R N O T H." Uh, he can be found in the city of Iriabor. 
uh, but that is more than a hundred years ago. I, d I know not what happened to it after that. And then she glances around and says, have you any other business here today? Anyone? Um, you guys may, do we want to ask her, like, where Cragmont Castle might be? Boom. Good question. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> um, also, would our characters know if Ariabor is, like, still around? Um... You you might as you make a make a uh, let's have a look at history probably here. yeah let's have let, let, let's have a history check uh, from all of us from anybody that wants to try to search their memory for it okay I'm good at history uh, <laughs> not very good uh. She and, and Zamafi seem to think they've heard of the name of the town before, but you don't know of any like well-known towns along the Sword Coast that would fit that description. The, the name sounds vaguely familiar to you, but that's about it. Okay. So she's still waiting to, to for your answer to her question about whether you have any further business. Um. Can you tell us how to find a place called Cragmaw Castle? Uh, make a charisma persuasion check. Persuasion. Anything more you want to say in connection with that? Um, if you help us, perhaps there's some way we could help you. She says, yes, I know where Cragmaw Castle is. What bi what business do you have there, mortal? Uh, we believe that one of our friends may be imprisoned there, and we would like to help him if we can. Um, I'm sure that uh, someone as beautiful and charming as yourself uh, would like to help us in this noble endeavor. All right, so she's she's charmed enough by it that uh, she says very well. Here's here's where it's located, <laughs> but be but be aware that it's been abandoned for many years, and there are many dangers along the Tribor Trail. Wait, wait now, wait. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're somewhat familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the warning, fair uh, elven lady. Watch out for those owl bears. She says, <laughs> now, mortals, be gone. And those last two words are just kind of almost ear-shattering. And you can kind of feel this cold wind blasting across, across you. You just kind of stand there like your hair goes, but you're just kind of standing there watching as, uh, <laughs> after it's all over with. You can't tell with me, though, because I don't have any hair. Okay. <laughs> Neither do I. My tendrils, they move. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. So she fades uh, away, and uh, uh, you manage to be able to leave her house and walk away without any difficulty. That's a good sign. Yep. Okay. You guys ready to leave Spooksville? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Everywhere we've been so far has been Spooksville. <laughs> the skeletons in the hideout. <laughs> ghosts. But right. skeletons means necromancer. Ah. That's true. Perhaps. At some quick point. Quest quick question for everyone. How long were we wanting to play tonight? I, I think our plan was usually to play to around 9 o'clock, a little bit after 9 is that when do you need to stop? Yeah, I, I I have to be done like by nine ten. Okay, all right. We'll okay. we'll uh, just go a few more minutes then. Okay. So you make your way back into kind of the ruins of Connieberry, and you're standing there looking at the trail, 
and uh, it's time to decide where you want to go next. Um, so she told us where Cragmaw Castle was, right? How do we know how far away it was? Yeah, it's you are right here. Oh, there and, it is. And Cragmaw's right here, just kind of okay. set into the woods off the the trail a little bit. Do we want to try to do the other side quest before we go to Kragma? Right. Try to do um, the yeah. Mission thing to do would be to do the orcs and then go to Kragma. Right? Yeah. yeah. I agree. All right. Uh, so you're going to be able, if you start marching kind of toward Wyvern Tor, you're going to be able to get some, you have, you have to work through some hills and some things. Uh, and then come kind of get into this valley, you'll be able to get to about right here before dark. Is that uh, what you want to try to do? Sure. Sounds fine. Okay. Sure. Do that. So you managed to make it uh, there uh, to uh, and set up a campsite about right here without a whole lot of difficulty as uh, as the darkness begins to descend on you. No dead owlbear at this campsite. Wow, this looks remarkably similar to the last campsite. <laughs> <laughs> this is Amazing. the same campsite of the other one. They were founded by two brothers or something. <laughs> <laughs> this landscape just goes on for miles. <laughs> Repeating itself exactly the same way. <laughs> Anything right. uh, you want to do before you you try to rest for the night? Um, no, I'm good. Does anybody want to try and heal? Uh, we should have all healed last night. Yeah, we. Sh oh, you're right. Yeah, you've Sorry. healed. Everybody's fully healed right now. Yeah, we haven't taken any damage today. Okay. All right, we, are we setting up with a perimeter alarm, same s procedures as last time? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Um, mm, I mean, I'm conscious throughout the night, so we don't really need it. I'll, I'll probably notice whatever. Yeah, to that's what I was thinking. I, I don't know if I should really bl blow the uh, spell slot if you've got meditation thing going on. Yeah. Do, you, do you not get it back at the end of your long rest? I mean, I would, but if we get like woke up in the middle of the night yeah. with combat, I want to have the okay. spell. Yeah. This time it's going to be a bear owl. They're much scarier. <laughs> no, there's, there's, it's, a bear it's just an owl's body with a bear head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is just a beautiful, uh, beautiful night. This, the, uh, the stars are out. Uh, there's uh, only small signs of wildlife uh, throughout the night. Uh, the moon comes up and it goes back down. This and uh, dawn arrives without any kind of events, and uh, you're able to pack up and get moving again without any troubles. Phew. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> 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 all right continue on all right so at about midday you arrive uh at the outskirts of wyvern tour which is kind of set into to uh, some hilly mountainy kind of uh areas uh a kind of an area and um uh it's, you, and you eventually get uh, to a point where you you begin to sense that uh, that you're getting close to wh whatever it was that you were t you you'd been told that there were some orcs that were out in the area. Uh, is there any a particular as it's and it's kind of up toward the edge of a hill, the place where you've been told to go. Uh, is there any a particular approach that you want to take as you get closer to that? Um, uh what does it look like like? Is Wyvern Tor a, a town or? It's it's a it's a mountain. Okay. It's a mountain range. I'll go in first, since I'm part orc. Oh yeah. Maybe that'll help. Ah, the diplomatic approach. I like it. 
Greetings, fellow orcs. <laughs> <laughs> I come bearing tidings. All right. So are you going to try to sneak, or are you just going to walk right up if you see an orc? Or are you going to try to sneak around? I think maybe everybody else should stay back for not too far, and maybe I should just walk up directly. But Yeah, I feel like if you sneak, they're not going to trust you. Well, exactly. Like That's why I'd rather just go head on. Hello, folks. How's it going? You know? Okay. All right. So you, as, you, as you move forward, you eventually notice what looks like a cave entrance. And... Caves have always done well for us in the past. <laughs> It's always going well, hadn't it? Yeah. And ah. uh, Sanasha kind of walks through the trees, and she sees in right in front of the entrance, there's kind of this lone orc that's kind of standing there, looking to its left, its right, up, down, seems to be kind of on the lookout for any kind of trouble that might be coming. And it looks really, kind of draws this weapon a little bit, looks a little suspicious as Sanasha starts walking toward it here. Where is everybody else right now? Let me get you out there so you can show me. Out of sight, for sure. Yeah, yeah behind the trees. This seems pretty close to right. Yeah. Okay. Like maybe more like there. All right. So it's looking really suspiciously at Sanasha as she walks up and uh, and kind of looking at you, waiting for you to say something. All right. Um, Do you speak Orcish? I mean, I should, right? <laughs> you think, I think so? I mean, I mean, I'm almost positive I do. Okay. Uh, yeah, I speak Orc. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to say an Orc... Uh, I don't know what to say. I've come to uh, investigate some reported issues that I'm sure are just rumors. Something like that. Okay. Uh, and, and it kind of looks at you strange and says, uh, surely you're not talking about Gog, are you? Um, I don't know who that is. Tell me. And who is it that sent you anyway? Just make um, up. <laughs> and they're just like, awesome. who is that? And they're like, exactly. It's above your pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say some citizens from the town of... Wait, what is that town? Van sure to the town? Uh, that's probably. <laughs> you should have just said Jeff. Jeff. Okay. Well, Jeff I'll just sent say, me. I'll just say some citif citizens from a nearby town. Wait, you could say um, the black spider. Ooh. But what if they don't trust the black spider? I think. Point. Yeah. I just don't know okay. that they would care about a town, right? Because the town sent us to stop them. So, like... That's true. Um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll say the black spider sent me. Okay. And then I'll do the, the black spider handshake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so, like? so you're going to make a charisma <laughs> persuasion... Black, black spider, you're going to make a <laughs> charisma <laughs> persuasion check. Persuasion. All right. Whoa. I'm very persuasive. He says, all right, very well. I will take you in to speak with our captain. Okay. Uh, oh, snap. He says, uh, follow <laughs> me, and he starts walking this way. Wait, can I stop him? Yeah, you can try to stop him. Can Should I mention the people that are with me? <laughs> I don't think that there is a way to. No, 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 it's too late. Well, what if. Yeah. What if <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm just going to. Can I bring ahead. my crew, <laughs> man? Yeah, <laughs> my, my fellow members. This was raiding to ambush you. Yo, squad. <laughs> Never mind. I'll just. I'll follow him. Okay. 
All right. Mm -hmm. And so um, as you get kind of closer to the entrance of the cave, which is pretty dark, uh, kind of following along behind him, uh, you start hearing like, like these deep, you hear a lot of chatter from a lot of different orcs. And then you and occasionally you hear this deep kind of, and then a kind of inside, like something's kind of very large is moving around in there, very gruff and very large. And uh, he, he moves you on a little further and you eventually get to a point where you're able to see a group of orcs that are sitting around a campfire and uh, behind, and in the very back of the room there is this ogre that uh, it just kind of looks restless and kind of pace back and forth looks like they almost kind of keep it as a pet hmm. as they slip inside the cave and get out of sight can I kind of like run up over here somewhere uh, yes all right, I'm going to run over and just sort of like slink up against the side of the mountain. Okay. I will do the same on the other side. Of the I'll okay. be on the tree here. Okay. And they really don't have much of a possibility of seeing you because they're inside a much darker environment that you're in. And so you're able to pretty much do that without any trouble. And uh, so, yeah, so Brugor... Uh, one of the orcs who introduces himself as Brugor main, comes forward and he says, uh, and this and one of them's told and the uh, the lookout has told him that uh, this uh, this uh, half breed has come to us with a message from the black spider. Uh, Brugor and Brugor looks at her and kind of growls and says, "Okay, very well. Uh, tell us uh, what tidings you bring." Um, we, uh, would like it if you'd stop causing so much trouble in the local towns, because it's giving us a bad name, uh, making people suspicious. All right, make a persuasion check. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I didn't really imagine it would go well, but go ahead. Um, he says to you, uh, you say you come from the black spider, uh, but what proof do you bring? Black spider handshake. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just gonna get kind of angry and say I don't need any proof for you. Kind of try to intimidate him. Okay. That's above your pay grade. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Just, you just gotta keep saying that. <laughs> He, he uh, says, all right, very well. Uh, we'll refrain from uh, striking down south uh, for a period of time. Uh, but uh, tell the black spider that uh, his, 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 uh, his time is limited and his reach is limited. And uh, the orcs will eventually dominate this region. Oh, good. Um... <laughs> okay, well. Okay, well, well then I, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> okay. Hey, we stopped them for a little bit. We can't control what they do after this. We did stop them for a little bit. Yeah. yeah, and who knows what a little bit is for orcs. It could be a couple of days, enough enough time for us to go get our payment and leave. <laughs> you know? My thoughts exactly. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave. Yeah. All, right. All right. So I'm gonna quickly jump back into the brush over here as I see her come out. Okay. All right. Is there any ale in there? There's there a million orcs, orcs and an ogre. Oh, an ogre. Uh, Is, do we want? Do we want to fight the ogre? There's a lot of orcs and, and an ogre. I'm not the biggest fan of fighting an ogre. Me either. 
That's not the way I saw that going down at all. Yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You know, a couple of nice rolls to kind of get in and, and get them convinced. It worked all, out. All right. Now, um, we just need to do the exact same thing with the black spider so they go to the other. <laughs> <laughs> from the black spider. <laughs> all right. Um, let's go ahead and add up XP for tonight. It's going to be... I'm going to divide this by five. So that uh, my calculator's not coming up. Here we go. All right, that'll be five hundred and fifty apiece for tonight. All right. Fourteen sixty. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we'll plan on picking up in a couple of weeks. It's, it works a little bit crazy for me right now, but I think I'm going to be good in two Wednesdays. So uh, we'll, we'll plan on picking it up in a couple of weeks unless you hear from me. And like I said, we're just going to try to keep working through, you know, an hour and a half at a time. And uh, hopefully we'll get done because, uh, you know, Lexi's got stuff tonight. And I know when Christina's back, she's going to, be wanting to go to bed being on the east coast and all so um we'll, we'll just continue to do that okay and, sounds good. and sounds good. Yep. i'm gonna shut the stream